7 a.m. I'm not well rested. I'm moving out of New York City. That's why it looks like uh, we're living in squalor. I have a flight at, uh, at 10 a.m. We left way too much to be done as far as moving and packing goes last night. Instead of getting to bed early so that I could wake up early, I feel refreshed on this flight. I went to bed at two. I got about three hours of good sleep. Solid, solid sleep. And then started tossing and turning. Just thinking about this. Having to wake up, start my day. Find myself at Newark Airport. The reason I'm wearing two watches, like uh, Corbin Blue in High School Musical, Holidays are over, people. is because I ran out of I ran out of places to pack things. Film yourself eating eggs at 7 a.m. And you think, is this good content? Or is this just me filming my eggs? <coughs> oh yeah, my stomach's not awake. And neither is anybody else. Today is exciting because, and not, not only because I'm moving out of New York City, but because I'm picking up my van. And you probably don't know, uh, I, I haven't, I've only talked about it, you know, with people in real life. I haven't really mentioned on the vlog, but I bought a van. It's in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, I paid for it. I wired Dylan uh, $7,500. It's Friday, July 24th. I'm in my empty apartment. I'm about to buy a van. It's been a long time coming. I found at least three that I, I wanted, um, but I just wasn't quick enough. They were, they were gone every time that I reached out. But not today. Because today, I'm gonna wire $7,500 to Dylan. Right there. I am going to make that transfer. that been instantaneous. All right, here we go. Transfer is pending. All right. I own a van that I've never, never driven or been inside of or seen in person or smelled or touched. But I love it. I love it already. I love it. I bought a van. It's in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, I paid for it. I wired Dylan uh, $7,500 and Today I'm gonna fly into Asheville, where my brother and his girlfriend are staying, and uh, I'm gonna go pick up my van. Uh, I've never seen it in person. I've seen pictures and videos, but this is gonna be, it's gonna be my first time to see it. Uh, and you'll be there. Wonder how loud that bus is in this audio.
Probably pretty loud. Let's go to Newark. Yay, let's go to Newark. <laughs> Surprisingly, that was a bitch. I was just told by uh, by a nice lady that my red folder is back at security because when I saw the guy dumping everything out of my backpack, I just assumed that he put everything back in, and that's on me. Also, I just bought an eight-dollar yogurt. team out today, possibly C. Uh, I don't want to do the same, uh, you know, travel flight vlog as, as I've already done, so I don't know what that's going to mean. We'll find out together. Just picked me up. That is Pete. It's Paula. That's Millie. My least favorite dog in the world. And we are uh, we're waiting for our guy Dylan, who I wired seventy five hundred dollars to, uh, to come so we can notarize the title transfer, so that I can actually be my van instead of just a van that I paid for. It's just a waiting game at this point. Is that him? No. No, no it's not. Gorgeous. Got a couple blemishes, but you know what? I think it makes her. I think it makes her a little cuter. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know a whole lot about vehicles or what rust does to a vehicle, how big of a deal it is. But I'll tell you right now, I don't even mind. And it's not because I'm already committed. That's not why. I think it gives her character. You know, I've got scars. I've got a couple scars on me. So does she. I'm almost at a, I guess I'm at a loss of words. Not even almost, I literally am. I do have the keys, but for some reason I feel 
like I should wait for Dylan to show me what all the keys mean because there are a bunch of them. One, two, three, four, five of them. This is like the worst commentary ever. Is I'm not even saying anything. I'm just just me looking, awestruck. God, look at that. It's a sexy ladder. Here he is, the man of the hour. What up? This, this is beautiful. That's true. Yes, this is, uh, this is where you're going to be living. You want me to give you the tour? Yes, please. So this is your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is your bed. It's a futon that folds down. And your legs right here in the top open. Under this will be your water tank, your furnace, bathroom, fridge. So very similar to like um, toilets that they have on boats. Yeah, it is. Does that go so into this a is, tank? Yeah, this is hooked to its own gray water tank. Um, you have a sewer hose on this side. Uh, this is like your closet space. Obviously all your storage, your sink, propane burners, and then your fridge, which is a uh, two-way. Uh, it runs off propane. Uh, but once you're hooked up, you can run it off, you know, your, your other power source. You have a home battery, which we'll come around and check out. So I went to a local RV repair shop and they installed this new deep cycle marine battery. Nice. And they rewired the electrical system. So all of the outlets uh, and the lights, they got it all back on one system. The previous owner had like changed it up. So this is how you plug in right here. That's your cable. Uh, it's 30 watt and then that's your sewer this is just to release the water coming from your sink i just finished getting the tour from dylan and first of all just such a genuine guy just such a good guy i wish i was recording but i didn't want to uh it felt you know it felt invasive to just be recording everything he's saying and like i was also trying to stay in the moment and trying to literally understand everything that he was telling me about the vehicle he said that he wanted to make sure that who he sold this van to, that they they had similar, like they were going after a dream, you know, that they that they were using it for the right reason. It sucks, man. He, he had been fixing up this van for, I, I don't know how long, maybe a year, maybe less, but he was about to go on his dream trip, you know? His golf trip, whatever that meant to him. But then, Life happens and weird things come up and medical issues arise at, out of nowhere. And so it really, it really sucks for him. It really does. And I feel bad. But at the same damn time, it's, it's really great for me. It is. And that is, uh, is that bad? I don't know. It's lucky. That's what it is. But he said he said that he that he had people offer to buy it just for parts and that he he refused, you know. He wanted to make sure that whoever was was buying it was had the same intention and the same he just wanted them to be living their dream or just living life and that's exactly what I intend to do in this van. <laughs> Oh, I'm a kid with a whole game.